the country reacts to that Supreme Court leak and the possibility of overturning Roe v. Wade, Ohio and West Virginia lawmakers are weighing in as well. West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito called that leak an unprecedented breach of security and believes the leaker will ultimately face punishment for it. On the other side of the aisle, Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown casts the legitimacy of the Supreme Court into question, labeling the current court as radicalized. He also fears that rape victims would have no options should they find themselves pregnant. It's, it's just a draft opinion, so I think we need to, you know, wait and see what the real opinion is at the end of probably projected into June to see uh, where the Supreme Court has gone and um, if there's any changes to that. A number of senators have come forward and saying we should codify this, meaning we should put this into the law, Roe, so the Supreme Court can't play games and misinterpret language, put it in the law. We can, we will get more than 50 bipartisan votes. Uh, the question is, can we get 60? Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says that the Senate will vote on a bill next week to legalize abortion at the federal level. Be sure to stay with 7 News for continued updates. And meanwhile, West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin also commented on the new effort from Democrats to put Roe v. Wade's provisions into law. He told reporters that he has not seen any legislation, legislation being drafted in Congress, but that he is, quote, anxious to consider it. Manchin says he would also like to see the separate bill from Republican Senators Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins. When asked whether it should be a priority for lawmakers, he said that Majority Leader Chuck Schumer would have the final say. Seven new